Hello and welcome back to this fundamentals of computer networking. This is class 7. In this class we are going to understand MAC address. Understanding MAC address. So what is MAC address? So first we will understand the full form of MAC media access control address. See MAC address it is a number it is a unique number given to NIC card to identify the NIC card to identify NIC card so NIC card identification done by MAC address only we may have many NICARDs, but every NICARD, every NICARD has a one MAC address. Who provides MAC address? The manufacturer, the NICARD manufacturer will provide the MAC address. For example, this NICARD uh, built by Intel company, you know, that Intel is responsible for providing the MAC address. If NICARD created by like uh, HP, IBM, uh, Lenovo, Dell, whatever vendor, no? The vendor will responsible for providing the MAC address. And I told you the previous point, MAC address is a unique number. This number will be representing in hexadecimal digits. This number, <coughs> sorry, this number representing in hexadecimal digits. We already understood uh, some hexadecimal digits in our previous classes. So how MAC address look like in hexadecimal? Let's take some MAC address. What I will do? I will go to my computer. Uh, this is Windows 7. Many of you thinking about uh, we are using Windows 11, Windows 10 uh, latest version. Why you are still using Windows 7? Oh, this is very interesting question but uh, I am not going to answer this uh, here I will still use Windows 7 only uh, there is a strong reason uh, some other time uh, we will discuss in uh, some other time in hexadecimal digits to get MAC address I will go to command prompt I will type get MAC this is one command to get the MAC address in Windows so this is a MAC address I have a choice of copy here copy this MAC address I paste it here so MAC address this is a MAC address here see MAC address is representing in hexadecimal digits these are the hexadecimal digits if you take a uh, take this into a one digit no we already discussed in the previous classes one digit is equal to four bits right one hexa dis one hexa a digit is equal to four bits in binary okay so if you go like this uh, we have this zero zero so we can convert zero 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 uh, again zero 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 c means what 12 right 12 means 1110 2 0 0 1 0 9 1 0 0 1 0 F then 0 0 0 1 9 1 0 0 1 again 1 0 0 1 B B means 11 1 0 1 1 next 0 0 0 0 0 so what I did here I converted uh, this hexadecimal digits into binary this is how actually MAC address look like uh, which means in in binary uh, this is a actual MAC address in hexadecimal even though we put uh, in it is not alphanumeric right it is just uh, uh, representing F is a number represent uh, 15 uh, is a number representing in F so you take MAC address this is the identity of the 
a nicot nicots are identified in first class i was asking one question there uh, how computers are identified each other hmm, that's a question no how computers are identified each other computers are identified each other by using their mac address every computer nicot has a mac address mac address is to identifying computer each other in then lan but many of you asking are may got a question about then why we go for ip address uh, what is the use of ip address you may thinking like this our next class will be ip address only don't worry we will talk about uh, ip address in the next uh, uh, topic next class so in mac address if you take this mac address this represent in hexadecimal digits uh, we can divide this mac address into two parts part 1 part 2 so this part the first part identifies uh, indicating organization id organization id o u id organization id the second part the second bits uh, this total 12 digits into 4 bits there are 48 bits okay 24 bits for a uh, organization id 24 bits for ou uh, interface id this is interface id for interface id 24 bits organization id 24 bits how it is means for example if any vendor uh, if any company uh, like uh, intel intel is a vendor uh, creating lot of motherboards uh, with the processors hmm? intel motherboard processor or processor that motherboard must have nic card no uh, that nic card uh, that if three motherboards which means if three nicards came from intel but the first the first six digits uh, will be the same but the remaining will be no the interface id may change because so this is ou id organization id that will provide with the same vendor the other the interface id will be generated uniquely in that id so like this way we have lot of um, uh, vendors so 2 power 24 vendors will be possible each vendor may generate 2 power 24 uh, unique mac addresses but this is all comes under in physical environment but if you come to virtual env environment no in virtual environment virtual means where you have one physical machine there you create multiple virtual machines in virtual environment <coughs> you can have your own mac address uh, you can have your own mac address where you can manage what will be the first range and last range could be anything we can design our own environment but in generally mac address used to identify the nicard nicards are identified by the mac address mac address represents are represent in hexadecimal if you convert that hexadecimal into binaries it look like this the 24 bits for ou id 24 bits for interface id total 48 bits this is all about the mac address in next class we are going to understand what is ip address and how ip address are look like and why do we use ip address when we have mac address for communication what is the benefits and uh, that's a very big uh, concepts um a very lot of concepts with a big uh, chapter we'll see in the next class see you happy learning